Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm going to be doing a washer fluid level sensor in this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If there's any parts you need for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to pull this center cap off. I'll just use a straight blade screwdriver. Slide it in here. Pull it out. I'm going to crack these lug studs free. I'm going to use a 17 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Just break them loose. We're going to raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can do it on jack and jack stands. I'll take these lug studs out with my socket. And once I get to the last one, I'm going to want to push on the wheel so it doesn't fall. Take this last lug stud out, put it aside, and then grab the wheel and pull it off. All right, we're going to take these push pins out. Um, there, some of these are Phillips head push pins. You take the center out and then you can pull the rest of the pin out. I'm just going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen up gently on the push pin. And once it's about half an inch out, then you can grab it and pull it out. Sometimes you have to hold the base. And sometimes they won't come out. You do it gentle enough, they will come out. If not, you can just get a straight blade screwdriver, get in behind it, and pry the center out. Now I'll pull this one out as well. This other one is a regular style push clip. Just pry it out with a trim tool. Pull it out. Yours may be different. We got all those out. Next, I'm going to take this Torx bolt out. There's a T30. I'm just using a T30 socket uh, extension and a ratchet. Pull this bolt out. Underneath, you may have some other push clips, but on this vehicle, there's no other clips. So just double check that. We're going to pry, pry this away a little bit. We can pull these little caps off, just spin them, twist them out. Spin it to the left, twist it out. Pull it back. We're just going to push it out of our way a little bit. I'm not going to take it out completely. Just leave it like that. We'll disconnect this washer level sensor and just push on the little lock tab, pull up on the connector. Just like that. Little lock tab right there. Right. I'm going to take a trim tool to release the level sensor. Just grab it and twist. Just work it out. You could use a screwdriver as well. And just pull it to the side a little bit. 
and pull it up. And that's the level. So to reinstall this level sensor, this is actually significantly easier if we took those two Torx bolts out because then we can maneuver the reservoir out a little bit. So we'll do that. Line it up. We want to make sure the level sensor goes in like this with the connector part pointing up. Line that in and then press it into the grommet all the way down. Just like that. And then this one, this connector right here goes to the level sensor. So we're just gonna connect that. And lock it down. Now we're gonna reinstall the inner fender liner. Get it back in position. position. We install this Torx screw. It's a T30. Just snug it up with a ratchet. That's good. Next we'll ins install these push clips. We've got one back here behind the strut. Push that in. Lock it in. We'll do the same with the other ones. Sometimes these fingers are hard to push in. I kind of put it in a little bit and then try to push it down with my fingers. Sometimes rotating it helps. We can lock that one in. This is one of the regular style clips that we had. Lock that in. That's another one of these. Lock that in. Now I'll take these covers, line these little tabs up, rotate to the right. Same with this one. Line these little tabs up with the slots, rotate to the right. All right, now I'm gonna reinstall the tire. This lined up with the holes. Push down in the center, make sure you have your lug stud with a socket so that you can get that started. And we're gonna drop the vehicle down so the tire is just touching the ground so it won't spin and torque the lug bolts. All right, now I'm gonna torque these with a 17 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. I'm gonna torque these to 88 foot-pounds. And I'm doing it in a star pattern, that way the wheel will get tightened to the hub um, properly. It won't be warped. I'm gonna reinstall the center cap. These little ears are gonna go into this little hub area. And this is indexed to the wheel. Um, it looks like on this wheel it can go anywhere. It doesn't really matter. So I just wanna line that up there and lock it in. Now we're gonna get some fresh washer fluid and we'll open the cap. And we'll pour it in. And close the cap, lock it in place. And then at this point, you can double check, make sure you don't have any leaks underneath, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.